During this episode, we will continue our adventure in our bunker base. We will hopefully be able to add the defensive systems that we need to counter raiders and make sure our base is safe. On top of that, while we continue our adventure, we might encounter some raid tools, and we are hoping to use these raid tools to potentially raid someone's base and get more loot. Now that these new defensive systems have been added into the server, we are able to use them to defend our base and hopefully take on this big enemy and one of the large clans on the server that keep taking us down. We want to eventually be able to overtake them and hopefully win in the end. Let's see if this episode is going to start good or if it's going to start bad. So we're just loading in. Uh, last episode we left off with a bunch of cash and a bunch of raid tools from uh, our neighbor friends that actually quit the server. They gave us a bunch of stuff. Uh, we also countered some raids and now I'm just logging in and we'll see if we are raided. If we are raided, that would be a huge shame. Okay, I've loaded in now. It's loaded. I think it's fully loaded in. And I think we got raided looking by the looks of it. I see that this workbench is still intact, the tent is still intact. The other storage is gone. We didn't get raided, but the storage is all gone. That's weird. Where all the storage is gone. Where the fuck did the storage go? Except for the mannequins. I think something might have happened to the storage. Hold on guys, I just, I'll, I'll make a ticket to the admins. Just let, let's make sure what's going on. Because what is this? Doesn't make sense. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, mate. Yeah, just chilling. And it's really strange with this flag, though. It's just I, I raise it and it keeps going down. And then the storage, obviously. At this point in our adventure, the admin had to come help us out. All the storage had despawned, and all the bases on the server. Something went wrong with the mod owners. Now, obviously, the admins can't do anything about this, but the admins had to fix this, and all the people's storage had despawned. So I quickly waited on the admin to fix all my storage and make sure that everything that I had was back as it was and that I could continue playing. Alright, luckily I was logged off with most of the raid tools, so the raid tools didn't have to be comped and stuff, um, but the admins did a great job. They, they tried their best to, as, you know, as accurately as possible, replacing the stuff that was broken or that was gone. Uh, and they've done a great job at trying to fix it. They're, uh, they've gone ahead and they made sure that the exact loot, at least in terms of building items and guns, is in the in the containers. They had a hard time with the ammo, so they spawned in a bunch of mags, but that's not too big of a problem. I'm just quickly putting away the raid tools right now, because uh, last if, the, for the people that watched the last episode, we managed to be able to get loot from the neighbors, and the neighbors actually quit the server, they gave us a bunch of loot. And uh, they had a bunch of building materials as well in terms of concrete. So we're going to use that concrete and we're just quickly going to build up the, uh, the doors of concrete that we don't have as concrete. So we have a better defendable base. Right, the next thing is gun crafting. So the, the workbench actually stayed intact and we still have the materials in base. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna craft the timber wolf real quick because that's what needs to be done. And we just now have the materials because we got gifted that uh, that base. There we go, four way timber wolf. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, that looks very good. Okay, that's gonna shoot four away, so that should one tap people. T14 timber wolf. Looks good, looks very nice, looks very, very juicy. Life hacks. Yeah, on to the next thing. The third mod that I've been talking about in the last couple of episodes has finally been added. And I just need to figure out where I can find the parts for the turret. Because I think these keys might have something to do with it. I have one for Mishkino and one for the vault. We have a bunch of green keys, all pretty much sorted. We have Mishkino, Starry. I believe the green keys give like a chance of getting this stuff. So I think I'm going to go for the green keys. One is in Svet, but I don't know where in Svet that is. Uh, the green keys will... I see that we have an electrical repair kit. We need that for the turrets, I believe. I just watched the tutorial video. We also need like a blowtorch. I think we have most of the... Uh, not most of the items, but the vanilla items we have. Oh, I think I just used the blowtorch to craft the timber wolf, to be honest. Maybe you have to find a new one. 
It takes two blowtorches, but we need a blowtorch. And a gas canister that's attached to it. There we go, blowtorch is there. I think I did actually find the gas... Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. I did have the gas canister. Okay, so that means that we need... Did you put that there, I believe? Yes. Okay, so we need to get the scrap metal, if I'm correct, which is uh, scrap metal. You can not de scrap metal, I think. No. Let me test it. Oh yeah, this is the wrong scrap metal. There's another scrap metal, and that's the scrap metal that we need. Um, and the other scrap metal will allow you to build the base of the turret, so we need to find that. Uh, the batteries we need, I don't know how many of them we need, I'll just take all four that are in here. We also need to test which guns actually fit on the on the turret, because some guns might not fit, but I might have to go for an AK. Right, I think I just need to go and do the key cards to be honest, to grab, have a chance of getting more loot. Yes, bro. Yeah, that's, I think, one of the items. Service surveillance camera with circuit board. Need wiring. Okay, this is... So, they need to combine this with... I don't have the item zombie, but you need to combine this with uh, an electrical repair kit. And then I think you're... You have the camera you need. I believe so. That's what I watched in the video. I think the camera detects whether the player is there. So, uh, it's a vital part that we need. Just need to go and make... Uh, go ahead and make sure that we fly towards the key cards. And hopefully, we can get more materials. That's a big ass base. I mean, say big ass, but I think the top is open, so I might be able to jump in there. You know what? I'm gonna actually check that out. I'm gonna land the heli again at the ground, and I'm gonna ch check that out because I think that might be. I might be able to raid that without having to raid it, if you know what I mean. I guess it's just gonna be open. Let me just check that out. They probably stashed my key though and my camera and whatever. Oh, it's raided. What the hell? I just thought the top was open and I can jump in, but it's just open. The fuck is this? I don't trust this at all, you know, like just some random ass barrels. I guess the tent is. Is it empty? I think it's empty. Yeah, it's pretty much empty. There's nothing in the tent. All these barrels are empty, they're probably all empty. Give me something. NBC respirator. Wait, what the hell is that? Metal scrap. So metal scrap, maybe something can be crafted out of it. Yeah, to be fair, that might be what we need for the turret, I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna take it just to test it later. It does seem like I can... Can't really do anything to it though. Maybe it's worth raiding the tent then, because maybe the tent has some more materials that we need. I don't know if this, this is what we need, but I'm assuming it is. And then the turret might, or the turret, the tent might have... The fuck is that? Is that log? What the hell is that? Is that like a third part maybe? Can I, can I take that? I can't take it. Bro, what the hell is that? Might have to raid this tent, because if this guy was active before today... Is that really everything in there? So it's empty, but it has this scrap metal. Maybe something can be made from it. It has to be something, right? It has to be. There has to be the scrap metal that I'm looking for. Yeah, fuck it. I'm grabbing my my stuff, my keys, and I'm doing the keys later. Because now we're getting somewhere. This is definitely what we need. I cannot combine this though, but I think this is definitely what we need. I don't know exactly how it works. Right, I had some fights now, um, and unfortunately I couldn't really win all the fights, but uh, there's not really that much relevant happened. Nothing too crazy that I got from it, Mostly, uh, most of the time I just dead, kept dying. Um, but my teammate has informed me that now we have not only the uh, parts that I got, but he also found two other parts. And I'm just watching the video now, trying to figure out if I have the right materials. So you need the scrap metal first, and you can put that down think yeah that's how it works but that only puts it on the ground so you first need to make like an elevation because if we build up the turret but it's on the ground it won't be able to shoot over the gap so we first need to 
This is hectic, okay. We need to have a hatchet to build this up. We don't do the keys now, we do the keys later. We have to build a little bit of an elevation so we can put the turret on top of the elevation so I can actually shoot over the gap. Here we go, we have the backpack. Okay, so I need to get the planks in there. Uh, and then the nails, and then I should be able to build up a little thing. Give me a sec. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I had to rebuild the elevation a couple of times just to make sure that it's on the right height. But now it should be right. And I figured it out now. So you want to you wanna put down the scrap metal, like this, or the metal scrap, whatever it's called. And I need to use the blowtorch, like this. And that should put it up. And then boom, we have a uh, frame. And on this frame you need to add a couple of items. So you need the targeting pod power bank and the gun and then you need an ammo case so we have that here so we, so we found the targeting pod and we have two different power banks so my teammate told me that the, he had two power banks he doesn't know which one it is so we're gonna figure out if this is the right power bank and if it if these aren't the right power banks we're gonna have to find new ones but that's okay that one does not fit so it is this power bank huge okay so we have the power bank we have... Camera does not fit. Why does it not fit? Oh wait, you need to... Uh, need wiring. Okay. Yeah, it needs wiring. Okay, so I need to combine this with electrical repair kit then. That's how... Yeah, yeah, okay. That's how they did it in the video. That makes sense. Look at that, man. That looks cool. It's like a little bit of a surveillance camera. Just like a CCTV. Just have it there. Just looks around. And this is going to target whenever players are around and whenever they aren't. Then the ammo box, just going to have to put ammo in there. Don't know which ammo that is. And then, oh, the gun doesn't fit. It doesn't accept my gun, so we need... We need to find a gun that fits on here then. Alright, just been spinning around. I think these guns are all too good to fit. We have this Galil Ace, and then we have the M16A3. Right, two, I mean. And I think the A2 is going to fit. It doesn't fit? What do you mean? This one does fit. Okay, so the Galil Ace AR is going to fit on there. It's like an AK. Make sure it's full auto. I think it's 5.56. Five, and, uh, yeah, okay. Put that on there. Why is it not? Shouldn't it, like, start aiming at people? Okay, it's not working. I don't know why it's not working, though. It should have all the parts, no? Oh, fuck, guys. I forgot something. We need the hacking laptop. There's like a, a hacking laptop or whatever tablet thing that you need to fucking activate the turrets. Because the turret's not, like, being controlled. So if it doesn't get controlled, it doesn't target on uh, players. Because you need to set who, like, you know, who it targets to. Otherwise, it's going to shoot you. So... Alright, fuck it. Let's get it. Let's get that hacking laptop. Since I had no clue where to get this hacking laptop, and we couldn't actually finish the turret without this hacking laptop, I decided to go around the server doing key cards, going around towns, using the helicopter to just fly around and get key rooms. I opened up Mishkino. Ah, uh, not really. I opened up Swedlyarsk. Uh, no hacking laptop, I guess. I unfortunately couldn't find the small says for the green keys. And this led me to not being able to find the hacking laptop yet. Well, we've been trying for um, three days now. And we've been trying to get all these keys done. We've done quite a couple of uh, keys, but I don't think the third parts appear to be inside the key rooms. Richard also managed to get a couple of key cards and key rooms done. But the turret has despawned, so... Um, yeah, what happened is it's not linked to our territory, so the turret despawns every time you place it now. I've reached out to the uh, to the owners and admins to make sure this is fixed for the next time. But it might take a couple of days since the owner's on a holiday. But yeah, no hacking laptop yet, so we can't really set it up and see if how it works in action. But hopefully once we get raided, I can actually put it down during the raid. But for now, we still, still don't have a hacking laptop, so yeah, it is what it is. Unfortunately, it took quite a while before we could even find out where we could get this hacking laptop. So in the meantime, I decided to go start collect some gold and go for King of the Hills and events with gold. 
Unfortunately, over the next couple of days, I wasn't really having much luck with these events. I kept dying, and I wasn't really winning anything. I can show you all the times that I died, but it's not going to get you any different of a perspective of the current situation. We still needed that hacking laptop, and I didn't find it over days. Hey guys, so we got lucky here. Um, fortunately for us, well, the, the dirt still despawns, but fortunately for us, my friend managed to find the hacking laptop. And uh, what's quite crazy is that he was doing a key room. So I believe he did... What did he do? I think it was Mishkino that he did. Or was it Starry? I'm gonna have to ask him, but he did a key room and he told me that he found this military laptop. Um, and we also should have some more, more gold guns. We have all the gold guns that I showed you from yesterday. But we also should have more somewhere. We have 20 gold bars. We need to go over to the gold bar trader. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go quickly to the um, black market and there's a gold smelter on the top there and I'm gonna go there smelt my gold guns all of them I take all of them with me and then I'm gonna get the gold get the heli get all the other gold and then I'm gonna go to the gold bar trader and we're gonna see what we can buy damn look at that I think we have a really fair bit of gold guns here that's quite nice I think if I put them around like that it should fit Put them in there. There we go. Alright, so we have all the gold guns to swap this out. And then we should be ready to go and smelt it. It should give us at least like enough to buy one drone. I guess we should be able to buy one drone with this. Right, there we go. Put everything in there. We have a fuck ton of gold, but we, we still... We might not even have enough, so we might have to actually go to people and buy gold off them. Uh, gold guns, or even gold bars. Um, let's go. Guzzle that fucking gold. There we go. It's working. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. So now we need to wait five minutes to wait until this is fully smelted. And yeah, we need to camp black market for five minutes, and then once it's done, we need to gra grab the gold bars and leave. Because uh, we already collected a couple of gold bars, but I don't know if this will be enough, so we might have to buy some more. Right, there's no one around for now, I guess, because no one pushed. Uh, the deagle is in there. And then we have a bunch of gold bars, so we're going to combine them together, see how many they are. there are. We need 60 for the drone and then 10 for the tablet, or 50 for the drone and 10 for the tablet, something like that. So we might not have enough gold, so we might have to actually buy... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to buy gold guns. This won't smell. Won't work. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't work. The deagle. Right, it's fine. Uh, we just gotta quickly figure out how many gold bars we exactly have, and then we can buy gold guns from other players or the the peer-to-peer -peer trader, and potentially. Uh, we need to get this drone. We just need to get the drone and see how it works, and then if it, you know, how if we know how it works, we can use it to raid a base or something. But you need to get this running. Alright, there's this guy in chat that I'm running back, and these guys saying that he wants to raise, he has the gold gun, so I just ask in chat who has him. Uh, so I could buy him from, could buy him from this guy. Uh, so I'm gonna have to deal him on Discord, but I believe this might be the guy that lives in the tent really close to us. So, hold on, I'm gonna DM him. I DM'd him, and I decided to talk to him in game. Hello? Andrew. Oh, hey, hey, bro. Let's go inside the uh, oh. the base here just to be safe, yeah. 
Alright, yeah, bro, that works. I heard from Richard that yesterday you guys got killed <laughs> standing outside the base. Oh, was, was that Preacher that killed me? No, 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 it wasn't Richard that killed you, but Richard was inside the base and he heard you guys getting killed, I believe. That's what I was told. Uh, yeah, so so I rocked up to like say hey, and some random guy came and he was like, What are you doing out here? And then just, just shot me. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, bro, I'm good. How are you? This is so crazy to see this on YouTube and then, like, be here. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it, is, it is a really good location, I'm not gonna lie. It is a really cool location as well. Easy. Yeah, bro, you've been busy. Oh my god, you've been real busy. Jesus Christ. I'm working on getting the uh, gold gun sorted. Yeah, so what, what do you need that for? Well, the plan is, is there's a gold bar trader and there are uh, drone things you can buy. So you can buy a drone kit. Oh, yeah. I want to use that drone to fly around and just, you know, fly into people's bases through windows and just check them out. <laughs> if you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. And, you know, just basically... Yeah, that make, make some good content. I have, it's, it's a hypothetical scenario, but I've seen that the, the drones are, you can have like a player standing on top of the drone. And then he can fly the drone, and then, you know, the player will basically, it'll basically like a one-person helicopter. And if that's possible, man, that'd be fucking insane. Because we just, we, I'll just need like a teammate. For example, Reacher. Just, and I'll just, I'll just bro, fly him just into a compound. Everyone. Fly him into a compound somewhere. Yeah, so well, I have something for you, which you can use at the, uh, at the trader. And it's also uh, oh. for the gold guns. Bro, did you just give me 200k? Yeah, that is 200k, man. Enjoy. Oh my god. Thank you. No worries, no worries. I, I appreciate it. Alright, put your hands up, I want my money back. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit exposed. He's horrible. Robbing my own money back, bro. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah, I want it back. I changed my mind. Yes, yeah, so you have the gold scar and the gold S58. That should be enough. Do you want to come with towards the uh, black market and we can smell this together? Yeah. Is that all? Is that all good for you? Yeah, yeah that's all good. That's all good. And so Tom helped me out, and we went to black market together. But this time, unfortunately, black market wasn't as friendly as the last time. This time, something would happen. You want to be careful here, by the way. Yeah, this is this is sad time. <laughs> Okay, we're good, let's go. Okay, get us smelt these two guns and then we should be fucking good. Yeah. Do people get notified when you do that? Oh, nah, they don't get notified for the gold smelting. But you can see like the smoke coming off from the top, you know? Right, so I'll, uh, I'll go down and I'll just hold the front door if you want. You can do that, yeah. We just need to wait a couple of minutes until this is done. I think it's like five, five minutes. But you can sit here, this is a really good spot. You just aim your gun down. Yeah, just... No. Yeah, I know it's not. There's a guy here, bro. There was a guy here. I just seen him. He was on around this corner. Hey, there he is. Careful, careful here. He's peeking from that corner. I just seen him peek around. I just looked at him. Oh! Okay, just hold it on here. Hold it on here for now, I guess. There's no way he's coming through up here, but he's gonna camp us though. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep holding. Yeah, he might go into that top tower, is what I might guess is. He's probably gonna go into that big tower, you know? It's the only angle he can get. He's still both me, yeah. Yeah, I'm just standing up here, I'm just holding the tower, that's not my main concern. <laughs> got him, got one. Uh, it might be more, but I got the one guy that I saw, I think. 
Don't know if he's solo. Could be more. I thought I'd seen someone else, but I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm just blind, bro. Maybe I'm just fucking blind. It's just like, what do you expect when you're sitting up here? You just think that everything's movement because you're looking at every like little graphic particle changing. We still need to wait until the gold is, is fucking got like fucking done because we need to gold bars really badly to get the drone. So fuck me, man. Yeah, the gold should be done in a minute here. We need like six gold bars, or no, four gold bars. We need. Oh, we have six. Yeah, we have six gold bars, and we needed four. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, I got them all. Here we go. Get the fuck out of here. Gotta be careful. Someone's camping here, you know. Got the gold bars. The whereabouts was it? I killed them on the rocks here to the left. I can't really ping it for you because you're not in my group. Right here, as you can see the body bag there. I don't know if there's a second one. Alright bro, my guesses are that there's someone camping around the corner somewhere waiting for us to, to run past or loot the body. Keep your eyes peeled. Alright, just loot him and we'll get out of here. Okay, he wasn't that stacked, unfortunately. Oh my. Do you, do you want any of this? Nah, mate, just grab everything you can, everything you want. And then we'll leave. Bye. At this point, no one showed up. And me and Tom decided to leave the area with our gold bars and with everything that we managed to get from that guy. We made it out safely to my base. I still can't get over it. Yeah, so this is Reacher, by the way. Oh, hey, bro. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yeah, bro, I'm all good, I'm all good. I was, uh, so I was the guy that got killed outside the base the other day when you heard me talking. Ah, oh, okay, is that who you are? Okay. Yeah, so so I left all my shit at base, and um, I came down because, obviously, I realised that Sid's actually playing like, at the same time I am. So yeah. I came down to say like, thanks for like, doing the videos and I almost got you playing because he did videos that he made so I thought I'd come down ah, and say cool. hey. Ah cool, yeah that sounds good. And then some yeah. guy killed me outside and all that one. Yeah I know, I was listening to the whole thing, I was sat up there and I listened to the whole thing, I was right next to you when you were talking the whole time. I, so I was, I, I genuinely thought the guy was Sid. And then he shot me and I was like, oh, <laughs> no. maybe not. That's, that's no, funny, no, no. bro. He was offline, I was just sat up there, I listened to your whole conversation with this guy. You know, and uh, yeah, and I heard the shot and I saw, I saw you get killed, yeah, so. Thanks for your help then, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hello, you're nice one, mate. <laughs> yeah, there's no it's way I've nice opened the door so, to, to, to anybody, I'm telling you that now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I wouldn't, I... Oh well, yeah, we'll, we'll buy the drone and we'll see what we oh, can no. do with the drones. Maybe we can fly into to people's bases, bro. <laughs> Just peek around the corner and like yeah. say hello to them. Well, it'd be a perfect time. It'd be a perfect one to try it out on, actually, because it's nice. Imagine. And open. Yeah, ima imagine out. just flying into a base and or just like sitting there in your base and you just see a drone flying in, just taking everything out. <laughs> imagine, yeah, bro. You'd just be like, what the fuck? It will be sick. <laughs> and then imagine if we raid no. someone with it. Yeah, Tom, if you want this, uh, this tier 2 vest, it's gonna like, tank a little bit more than your current vest, like a couple extra shots. Might be interesting for you. Yeah, and then put the tendon as well. Um, nah, I don't have no room, unfortunately. But it's all good, bro. Right, bro. Um, I appreciate you both. Thank you very much. And uh, good luck. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. Yeah, bro. See you later. It was uh, yeah, nice you meeting you. Nice meeting you and going to the you know, like King of the Hill, just let me have it. Yeah, if we see you, we'll just kill ourselves so you can grab the loot for free. <laughs>
The restart just happened, hence why it was immediately dark. And this meant while it was dark, we could easily grab our helicopter and fly towards the gold bar trader and possibly buy our drone with the gold bars we just acquired. Our bigger helicopter got stolen by the way, Reacher, so yeah, we only have this smaller one now. This MH6. Is it probably this, yeah, well this one's probably uh, more what we need, isn't it? It's small, agile. Yeah, it's smaller and better. We don't have a key for this, unfortunately, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I haven't really gone to the gold trader yet on the server ever, so I have no idea what it looks like. And I don't really know what the loot is we can get there. Yeah, that's alright. Don't worry, we'll go and have a look. I know we can get the drones, but outside of that, I have no clue. Alright, we need to check here for helis, because no idiot's gonna come here with a with a car and to explore this. Let's check for helis. Yeah. I don't know where to look from, though. They probably have to be landed over there, yeah. or on the bridge, maybe? It's day Z, so you never really know what happens. Yeah. Could be a random guy. You never know. Day Z, yeah, you'll always get killed by that one solo that's just randomly here for no reason. Right, let's do this. I don't know where the vending machine is though, so we're gonna have to figure that out. It might be in the tower. That would make the most sense to me. Probably put in the tower oh, okay. here. No, it's not. Oh, it's there. Oh, there it is. Yes, here. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Special something. Yeah, here we go. Gold bar rewards. Yeah, so what have we got? We got gold vehicles, which are... I mean, they look nice, but... They're fucking expensive as hell. We have... Okay, we can get 50 cal ammo, suppressor, armor plate. Baird ammo, armor plate. Uh, 50 cal ammo is the only thing you can buy here. Yeah, I found some uh, metal that like, we can use for crafting rounds, but I don't know. And then we have the drone tablet and <laughs> the drone recon drone kit. The fuck is that? That's yeah. the the kit for the drone, probably. I right, just buy both of those. Ah, right, yeah, we'll get it. Just get it. That's cool. All right, so I'm getting both. That means we have zero or two gold two gold bars left. Yeah. Just got it, my friend. We just gotta fly this back and just quickly get this uh, safe to base. Oh, just found uh, some good guns. Can I put the drone kit down here? Can I work? Can I use it? Yeah, well, hopefully we should have everything. We'll get it back to base and then uh, we'll have. Oh no, I need a territory to deploy it. Okay, we need to do this at base then. Oh, bro, bro, the helicopter gates are opened on that base right now. Do you want to drop me in and sit and ask to see or what? We'll Let's probably get killed, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's a sketchy, sketchy base to land on. Well, I haven't really got a lot on me. <laughs> so if you want to drop me off... Yeah, but if I get killed, though, with the drone... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe not. Unless you want to go and drop, uh, obviously, our loot off, but it's up to you. I'd say fuck it. I'll just land you up there, and then you can you can have a look inside. Yeah, no, I'm not, once I'm on there, I won't be able to get off again, probably. I mean, I'll pick you up. You just got to make sure it's safe. They're probably away with their heli, though. They're probably just doing something at the moment. It might be out. If it is a heli gate, it might be out on it, so... Do you want me to get out and have a look? Yeah, yeah, you go out, you have a look, and then... Yeah, that. I'll fly off in the meantime. Right, I'm out. Yeah. Alright, so you can drop into the base. Uh, just have a look, and then you can climb back up, and I'll get you if there's uh, nothing. See if their doors are all opened. Yeah, you can drop in there, you can check uh, in the floor hatch or the roof hatch what's in there, and you can check if there's any loot and any doors are opened. Uh, just grab whatever you can and then you can leave again. Yeah, it's open. I right, just walk in, have a look, make sure your guns are on so you can shoot them if needed. And yeah. It's all open, mate. And, and there's a, there's a um, gar virtual garage. Oh, oh, okay. Are the doors like towards the loot room all it's open? All, it's all open. They're all hatches it's going down. Really? Oh, it's open. All, oh. Hang is on. that all the way? Like all the way to the loot room? Tier 3 is in here. And one of them is closed. Open. There's one, that, one that's closed. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. The other means we can't get in. Two that are open. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Just gonna leave oh, it there, bro. Oh, there's a, there's a vehicle in there. Grab whatever you can of this loot, and then we'll just... I'll pick you up. Get back up to the roof, and yeah. I'll pick you up. Yeah, I can't get any further than that, but there is a vehicle, but there's nothing... No way out of it, you know, you see what I mean?
I don't know if we're gonna need extra parts for this though, so I'm gonna put it down. Hopefully, we don't need extra parts. Let's see. Oh no, this needs to 9 volt batteries. Okay, we're good, bro. We're fucking chilling. We're chilling. We're good. We're being chilling, bro. We're fucking chilling. We need to find out where they are. We must have two batteries, right? We must have batteries somewhere. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's one on there's, uh, Well, I know there's one definitely upstairs. Somewhere. Uh, I'm just looking in here, see. I'm, I'm sure I've seen one somewhere. I don't want anyone to fly the trailer oh, and buy them. Oh, these two are dead. The ones that have in these laptops. They're dead. Um, yeah, but it's not power banks, you know. It's the 9 volt batteries. But I'm not looking, looking for power banks. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so it's different. But you must have them, come on. I know we had them. They're not part of the stuff that despawned, are they? Uh, I hope not, and if that's the case, then the admins might not have, like, fixed that. That could be an issue, oh, yeah, you know? Batteries, yeah, one oh, hold on, let me just check and make sure I'm in the Oh, I've got one, I've got one here. One battery, yeah. You're not yeah, telling us that we haven't, can't do the whole thing because of the battery, one battery. Oh, I would be telling you that, but <laughs> I will tell you that we have batteries fucking somewhere in this base. There's just no clue where, bro. They have to be somewhere, I know yeah, we have on, them. Hang on, uh... I know we have the fucking... I just put that on there. I know we have batteries, but the question is fucking where? Oh, there's a battery here. Oh, here. here. here yeah, there's this, this, this here. Got here. Yeah, got it. I got two as well. So I got three total now. Yeah, we're good. Now we're we good. find them all at once. That's how this game works. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's do this. Let me just quickly talk about all this stuff. So don't need we got this. the tablet. Yep. Yeah, so you put two, two batteries in the drone. Then you need to put one in the tablet as well. So that's good that I have three. Connect the drone. Let's go. It's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing it. <laughs> Let's see. It's connected. And now, what do I do? Right. Connect the drone. Oh! I'm in the fucking UI. How do I use this thing, though? Okay, so I need to find the settings of this drone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In my yeah. settings, bro. Okay. Uh, w forward, S backward, right, left. Down, up, reset. Oh, move fast, move slow. So engine, engine power. So I need to press E to power on the engine first. Okay. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I thought for a second I did something wrong. Okay. <laughs> we can go up and down and stuff. So I just need to connect it again. Press the engine. And then it should go on. And then it also has night vision. If I press, start, yes. Start it it's got night vision as well. So you can go during the night. You can see people. Oh, there. Oh, you go. There you go. I started the engine. And now I should be able to go <laughs> up with Q and down with Z. Oh, I'm going really fast. Look at that. Oh, shit. Going up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Look at that. That's that's cool as fuck. It actually works, bro. Come upstairs. Look at this. Look at this, bro. <laughs> I'm hitting stuff, though. Look at this. You see you. And then I fly oh. downstairs, and I should be able to see myself. Oh, mate, that is sick! <laughs> I'm hitting stuff, I don't know if it's damaging the drone, but it, like, it makes like the, the hit sound. Go downstairs, oh, look, there I am, I'm just on the tablet. That's fantastic. This is fucking sick, bro. I'm just looking at myself right now, just standing there looking at the tablet. <laughs> look at my boots. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna put the engine off for a sec. Oh! Uh, not a very nice landing. I landed on top of the uh, on the floor, so it's like it went sideways. Oh, it's worn. It. No, it's okay though. It's good. I damaged the thing. Can you can you try and pick that up? Is it like can you pull that in your hands maybe, or is that not gonna uh, work? No, uh, no, it's not giving me the option now. Okay, because I might have damaged it because I hit some stuff, or I might have damaged it because I've used it for a certain amount of time. No. That's fucking cool as hell, bro. It's a little bit glitchy, and it's yeah, really right, hard, it's really hard to fly him in small spaces. Right, why is that not letting me pick it up? Or is it just for you? Have you. No, it doesn't let me pick it up either. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. <laughs> screwdriver. Right, let's have a look. Screwdriver. Let's have a look. Come on, we gotta have a screwdriver somewhere, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, pl pl yeah, pliers won't do anything, will it? But what we don't know is how, how far, far will it go? Yeah, yeah how, how far, far will the goes. drone go before it disconnects with the, with the person? Because if it goes anywhere, I can just fly this from... Well, I don't yeah, know. You the thing is, the thing is I also don't know, because it, it gets... It just is worn now, right? So yeah. what I don't know is if that means that it's... Um, 
because I hit the wall a couple of times, or if it's warm because I've used it for a certain amount of time. Because that's okay. the thing. If it's used, if it uses on time, and we yeah. deploy this here in our base, and the base that we want to raid is in fucking Narnia, <laughs> Narnia. then it won't work. No, I know what you mean. I know exactly what okay, you mean. Okay, well, what I'm gonna try next is to uh, make you stand on top of the drone. So you're gonna stand on top of the drone when I launch it, and I'm gonna see if you go up in the air and if I can control it. Right. Okay. You're gonna try. It, okay. Also, so need to, uh, can we can we try and put these doors open? I'll try and fly out of the base. Oh yeah. Well, well if you get everything other than the the, the last one open. And then when you fly in, I'll open the last one and let you fly out, and then you can, and I'll close it behind you. Right, so I don't know how far... What I can actually test is how far it actually lets me connect to the drone. Yeah, yeah, see if you can fly it to start it. Right, I'm trying to just get it level. Oh, no signal. Oh, oh, it's ruined. Really? It's ruined. I saw what? it go, it just went red, it just went to red, and look at it. It was, it was like not straight. Close this door, man. Let me see the drone. Come on. Can't even get out of here. This is, I'm actually stuck here because of the gate. Bro. It ruined. I don't know if it ruined. Bro, I'm, filing, that, I'm filing a complaint at the complaints department, bro. Ruined? That's... What the fuck? Yeah. Oh. I just worked for like two weeks to get that gold. <laughs> You know, you know I worked for fucking two weeks to get that fucking gold. <laughs> okay, so apparently... Yeah. Okay, so we, I do have an answer to my question. Because it was like stuck on that thing and I tried to like go up. And once the engine started, yeah. like flipped over. Yeah. It's so, probably just, I mean, it's probably I because... I can't stand on it though, look, if you look. I would better stand, so it would be... Would it be oh, it's a shame we didn't get a chance to try it. Yeah, so it's actually a fucking... Uh, if, yeah, we need to... F oh, fuck, we need to... Oh, we'll have again. to grind it again. How much gold have we got left? Two. Two gold, bro. Uh, and how many do we, how much do we need? 50? Yeah, 60, bro. Oh, no. F uh, 50, because we don't need the hacking tablet. So, only 50. Alright, guys. We've given up on the drones for a little bit. Not really fully given up, but we're gonna just continue that on a later moment. Um, we're currently running towards a base that we saw with the heli the other day. And it seemed like the roof they have are all floors. So, we just want to go over there and confirm that we can dismantle that. The weekend raiding will be enabled tomorrow, today's Thursday, so tomorrow we can actually raid the base. So we just want to confirm that we can actually dismantle that, so if we decide to raid that, we can use that to our advantage. Okay, so you jump up here, and then what I saw is there's a gap here, right? So not only are these all floors, so you can all dismantle these, but you can also crawl in there, right? So if you prone, like, if you like prone right here, and I'm prone on top of you, I should be able to just crawl in there. I, mean, I don't want to fall in there because I'll be stuck, but I should be able to like go through and I'll land in, in, in front of the door. We can probably raid this base quite easily. Yeah, we but, can use the hammers on this one, couldn't but, we, Eva? Because yeah. it's like, we don't need to use any... We can only do it tomorrow because raiding's not allowed now. Yeah. So what time tomorrow does it start? It's going to be like 9pm, I believe. 9pm your time, uh, UK time, so and then... Yeah. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, you know, because Joe, I was saying about that helicopter. Oh, look at that. They haven't even snapped any of these together. That's terrible, isn't it? Um, Joe, Joe, I was telling you about a helicopter landing. Uh, and I said it landed quite close to our base. Uh, mm. You know, when, well, that was somewhere just in this clearing because they ran up. They were landing. It weren't actually at this base, but it weren't far away. It's probably about 300 meters away towards our base. Oh, a good vehicle look big, that potentially. Yeah, well, I see, yeah, well, I nearly ran up and tried to kill him while he was uh, uh, still in there, but... Um... Oh, helicopter? Yeah. Where is that? It's that that way, towards the heli-crash. Towards the heli-crash that we just heard. Oh, it's flying up to the heli-crash, hold on. Oh, yeah. It's going up? It's the thing that landing, the thing that landing. Let's let him land. Let him land. Yeah, let him land. Let him land. We'll go close. It's probably going to be a solo that's looting the heli-crash. Yeah. We'll get close. Nice. I'll headshot him. He's definitely not gonna notice we're here. He's definitely not gonna expect it. Yeah, close in. He's going for that. He's, he's going for that crash. Just get him. We can have another helicopter, mate. I know, but I don't see him right now. So we need to wait until we get closer. He's actually he's looting himself with a helicopter because he's he just put off the engine. 
there's two things we can do. We can kill him once he's running towards the, the thing, or we can also kill him once he's... I'd, I'd, kill him, I'd kill him while he's running towards it, unless... We'll kill him when we get sure. the ability to kill him, but we can also kill him once he's back in the heli. I just want to make sure he doesn't stash that kilo quick. No, but if he's coming back into the heli to leave, he needs to fire up his engine again and we'll hear it, and then we can tap him once he goes in. Yeah. I don't oh, think so you're a... going to wait for him to come back to the heli, you mean? Yeah, yeah and then okay. the, one, the moment he puts Sounds up the like engine... Because he only needs to make sure he gets in. Yep, and then once he's in, he needs to start the engine, he can't do anything either, so he'll be, he'll be stuck in the heli. Oh, there's two, mate. There's two. One's in the heli, the other one's outside. He's just coming in. Okay, make sure you one. There's another one. It's three! 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 Oh, I'm dead, but dead, but he's on. He's hit. He's hit. He's coming out the. He's coming out the. Uh... He just one tap me. Oh, he's got an AX50, bro. Like, my uh, PKN doesn't do shit if he has the one tapper. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, that, that was the one from behind. Yeah, there's one behind. So that must have been three or four guys, bro. Three or four. Oh, shit. Damn. I hit one. I hit the one on the rock. Loads. Sleeping bag it. Fuck. I mean, they'll be gone with the helicopter, bro. Yeah, they know, yeah, they know if we're pushing up. It's, uh, shit, damn. bro. I just lost my only four away, and, and we also lost both four, two, three vests just by that. After spawning in my sleeping bag, I couldn't let myself lose this fight, and so I decided to grab one gun and return to the fight on my own. Richard didn't come in time, and the base wasn't that far, and I decided to just send it. I snuck up on them both, I'm really close to them. He hit me really hard. Wait, what? I just saw a full mag in this guy, and it just like I probably missed like four bullets, and he just not dead. Oh man, don't worry. What? I just, this guy no, is like no. tanking, bro. How do we get one tap by a 50 count, and I just shoot like an entire mag in a guy that's standing still, and he just doesn't kill him? Well, it's a new day. We're a bit broke, but we're on the ATV. And uh, with the ATV, I'm currently going to get us to the um, the base in the Lopatino Church. So, there's actually a clan on the server that was wrecking everyone. But then, uh, you know, they got bored or they had like trouble trouble with teaming or whatever was going on. I don't really exactly know what went on. But what I do know is that they've left the server. And they live in the, in the Lopatino Church. Uh, and since they left the server, I asked them if they have any loot left in their base. And he sent me over the code, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and take a look at this base and see if they have anything left for me. Because I would be happy to see some more tappers or loot. I'm mainly looking for some tier 3 stuff, like uh, vests, armor, but also building materials so we don't get raided right away. Alright, so the passcode is boobs1. Let's see if it works. B-O-O-B-S-1. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Wait, what the fuck? There's a helicopter and a block in the entrance. The hell? <laughs> Why have they done that? To prevent people from raiding, maybe? You need to, like, wiggle yourself through, bro. It's like, jump, whatever. They got three helicopters in here, bro. What the hell? Look at this. They got heli gates. Oh, there we go. I'm in. Fucking hell. Gun bag. Awesome. Gold MK18. Gold MK18. A yeah. Moschino town keys, a bunch of dog tags. Uh, yeah. Car keys, probably for the helis. You know how many tier 2 doors they could fit in this church? Let's see. Oh yeah, they got a bunch. They got a fuck ton. If, this, if we can get further into the base. If we can get all the way into this base. Let's, let's dismantle all these three, three, tier 3 doors. And we'll fucking... We'll take all the concrete and stuff. And then we can use that for our yeah. base. <laughs> Now this is supposed to be one of the biggest bases on the server in terms of loot, but unfortunately because they left, they lost a bunch of loot from that as well. So they're gonna have a bunch of storage, but there's not gonna be much in there. I'll take that armory bag. It looks interesting though. Right, well we've got plenty of first aid kits. Holy shit, bro! Come up here. 
Come up here. It looks like it looks like it's so absolutely stacked. Let's let's hope it's just not all empty. Because we might need to I just need the building materials. Oh, oh yeah, it's mostly yeah. I mean, there is stuff in here. Well, uh, Raiding sledgehammer. That's good. That's good. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, they've got drugs. Uh... I mean, they'll have guns, but the guns are probably going to be just the guns that we have in our base. Like, the same level guns. So, we won't really have any... We don't really need them, basically. We can just leave them in here. R700 is not that good, either. Oh, they've got more motherboards. Oh, oh, they've got uh, improvised detonator as well. Thanks, R700. Uh... Oh, look at the Bitcoin! What? What? Mate, what? Get, what? Yourself what? A, get yourself what? a jug, mate. Have a look in there. Hey, that's not a joke. That's one. That's one more tier three vest, which is good, but it's not insane, I guess. Still, it looks insane, but it's only one more vest. Bunch of dog tags. There's a dog tag of me. This is actually when I got killed on the on the on the tower. This is a dog tag of me getting killed on the tower on the 9th of September. This was very nice. They had a bunch of nice loot that we could take, but although they had a bunch of loot, it wasn't all quality. Some of the loot was just not not worth anything. It was just mainly bags, building materials, and dog tags and crafting materials. But nothing that was really crazy in terms of guns or vests. I mean, we had a couple of guns which we took, and obviously the gold guns is what we were interested in from this base. But they didn't have any tappers or tier 3 vests in here, unfortunately. And so that meant we were still back to square one if it came to tappers. After looting this base, I decided to dismantle most of the doors to actually use that concrete for our own base. Knowing that these guys wouldn't be playing again and they didn't mind if I did this. Now after I got all these doors dismantled and I made sure that everything was in my inventory, I made it back to base and I decided to start building up again. I built not only extra doors in the downstairs system, but I also started to build outside. Putting down a whole system of a tower where we could use the window to jump into our base to find a way in during a raid. I used the workbench to create chop down logs into planks really easily and get 10 planks per one log. This way it was really easy to get all the materials for the wood. I decided to put the building aside. The weekend raiding was now allowed and you were ready to raid bases. We decided to go for a small base first and we found a shed not too far away from us in a town. We decided to raid it but realized that the raiding such hammers that we had weren't working at the moment. And so we called an admin, and the admin was able to swap the rating stat hammers we had out for some C4, which was worth the same value and would rate the same doors, but luckily we could use that now. And the downside of C4 is that people can hear that in the area because he gives a boom. The rating stat hammers wouldn't. So we placed the C4 down, and after a couple of minutes, it managed to explode, and we had access to the base. Yeah, Ed. I'll let you have a look there. Non-code lock tent. You open that up, and what do you get? Metal cabinet. Okay, we have one raid saw, that's good. One raid saw is very nice. We have yeah, not much sweet. else. The tent oh, is key empty. Cards as well. key cards yeah, key as well. cards and yeah. some part items. But the tent is mainly empty, so it's not that insane, unfortunately. Not nothing massive. We wanted to hit the next base, but we wanted to use our raiding slash hammers, and they were unfortunately bugged. So we had to get an admin to swap them all out for C4. And once the admin had fairly given us the right amount of C4 that we were supposed to have that was equal to the amount of raiding snatch hammers we had, we were now able to raid a base. Yeah, we could. But you'll be getting uh, smalls instead of heavies. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. We were now finally able to use our raid tools and raid a base. So we decided to use the raid tools on a neighbor base that was quite close to us. And so we decided to start dismantling this roof as it seemed to be a very broken base which we could easily take advantage of. Yeah. Yeah, we're skipping at least one door already. Uh, they're definitely active because there's loot on the ground, so these guys must have been around today. Or at least the last couple of days. Yeah, um, flagpole's there. Flag there, yeah. Trying to think on how we're gonna do this. Yeah, you're in. Come on. I can't even give this a go. Doesn't don't think it works, man. I'm like, I mean, I'm in, but I'm not in, if you know what I mean. I think it's because this is not an actual. You can see through it, but it's not actually like it's a full solid object, which is quite annoying, unfortunately. You can't stand up or anything while you're there. Hang on. Keep going, you're nearly there. Keep, keep rolling. After numerous attempts of attempting to climb into this little gap. It did not actually work, and the character was bugging out whenever we tried it. So unfortunately, we had to use C4 on their door 
to get to the base. We even tried pushing, but that didn't help either. Oh, okay, so we have another tier 2 door. We need to get some more C4 from base. But they have some gold guns in it, which is what we need. So I love the fact that they have gold guns. Gold guns for us. They have a code locked crate, bunch of MK18s. I mean, this is alright, but it's not that crazy. We need to raid the, the next couple of doors to get it done. This AK we can use for the third, actually. That's the second gun we can use for the third, I believe. You go first. Interesting. Okay, we're further into the base now. I think we're all the way deep. There's an open door. I don't know if it's code locked, but I'll just keep it open like that. We have another open door, another open door. Best code and a sleeping bag. Pack that so they can't spawn. Right. This is open as well. Careful, careful which one you close though. Because if you close this one, it might have a code locked. Or this one doesn't have a plus, so this one's good. There you go. Oh, they've got a couple of landmines, I'll have those. Some loot, some loot. Here's go lights, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'll do it. So... They have some open crates here, but not that much is inside. I mean, a bit, bit of ammo. Nice. Ammo's nice, nades. I mean, nades are nice. Take those. My last 50 cal time. ammo and JTAC. These things are all locked, though. We don't really have that many raid saws, bro, so... Oh, part items! Look at the part items! This is at least a million cash. That's good. Yeah, a few R700s, let's have a look. The healing items don't seem too stacked, you only have a couple of IFAX or Grizzlies. Food, uh, trash guns, trash guns, nothing good. Code locked, code locked, code locked. We have one more door which we can raid. That is nice. Okay, I'm actually put C4, we have, I brought all the C4 we have in base. Well then, do you want to give me a raid? Uh, oh, oh. I'll give you the raid sauce, yeah, I'm just going to quickly put on the C4 on this door real quick. Alright, let's see. Hopefully this is better. Mannequin yeah. does not look that good. A bunch of IFAX. I mean, we don't really need those. We don't really need the vest either that's on here. It's a vanilla vest. And a sleeping bag. Two more lockers. There's more locked lockers, man. Belt, I think. They got a locked locker, a locked locker, and a locked wardrobe. We only have like three raid saws, bro. So I don't know what we're gonna... If we're gonna use all the raid saws, but the loot uh. doesn't seem great, bro. It really doesn't. doesn't seem great. We can we can keep sawing into this, but the, yeah, it's just not it's just not gonna work. All right, the wardrobe is opened. Uh, gold bars. I mean, that's nice. Nice. What else we have? Sleeping bags. Uh, M M two ten. And nothing, just close, man, just close. I think we need to abort this mission. If we use more raid saws, I guess we're just gonna get, we're just gonna lose stuff every every raid saw we use. You never know. I'm still, I'm still cutting for you one more. All right, let's see what do we have in here. Another golden gun. Huh? Oh my god, bro! One golden gun and fucking scar hate. Okay, we got scammed. We're not using any more hacksaws on this base, right? This base is trash loot. Everything's trash. It's we use so much C4 on golden this. Guns. We scammed ourselves, bro. MP5, bro. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? This is a are joke. We out to see? Are we definitely out of all? Yeah, we have. I mean, we have raid saws at base, but I'm not using them on this, bro. The, the, the loot we've got from yeah, this so far is just. Depot some of this and come back out or finish it off. I mean, you we never can... know. There could just be ah. one of them. I don't know, yeah. man. And if you if you really think so, I, I don't think I think they don't think it's worth it. But if you want to do it, you can. You're free to. Yeah, I'll let you choose if you want to use them.
Uh, just making the turrets real quick, making sure they're all set up, because the turrets oh, are working sweet. now. Okay. Yeah, they're all working now. They're all set up, so they don't despawn. Oh, right, okay. So, Good uh, stuff. yeah. Just gonna take you off the list real quick to, until you die. <laughs> no, man, I, 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 you know what? I actually did think to myself, are you waiting for me to get back to base so you can test out this gun? And I thought, are you just gonna wait for test me to do some running? <laughs> someone just killed someone outside the base. I think someone's camping us. Some kid is definitely no. camping outside our base. No, 103 meters. No, they're, out, they're outside the base. I'm 1.9 out, so hang on. Well, you're, not, you're gonna have to fight these people, so yeah, just be aware of that. Oh, well, but anyway, I also left a couple of doors open in the base. Like, five, five doors are open, so we, we might be no, I fucked. left a, I cannot have left two doors open. I went through each one and closed them each time I went through. I guess you missed a couple, though, but that's... I mean, it's fine, it's fine. It happens, it happens. Oh, shit, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that, because that's the second time. No, no, but honestly, I actually went through. Like, 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 deliberately thinking, right, let's make sure I close them all behind and stuff, so... Yeah, it's okay, just make sure uh, next time that they close. I will, I'll make sure. Yeah. I've activated the turrets now, it says not working yet. I have a list which I can add you to, I'm gonna quickly add you to the list, make sure you're on there. Yeah, unless you want me to, unless you want me just to run in and just see what it, see what it actually does. To be fair, we should try that, because it would be cool to see if it does actually work. Okay, I'm happy to test it, I've, I've laid down my, um... I've laid my, um... Uh, sleeping bag down so uh, I'm happy if you want me if you want to just see how it works and see just test it I can do alright sure let's go let's do it oh someone just started that base again fuck's sake yep I heard that bro for fuck's sake they're still shooting I don't know what's going on man I'm closing in now so hopefully just try and see if we can listen out to see where he is well, it sounds like he's just right outside base, just camping it or something. Right, world home aid turret. I'm, I'm setting up both turrets, so in case we get raided, we have them both activated. But I'm gonna get killed anyway as I run in. Well, probably, but I haven't set them up properly yet, and I need to figure out the ammo system, so you might get away because there's not many ammo. Watch ammo in there. <laughs> right, they're working. I've removed you off the list. So you're no longer uh, you're no longer uh, a member of the turret, so the, the turret will shoot you. Why right, are you ready? <laughs> Let's test it. You so you're, 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 you're right the there. second, the second thing. Okay, I can barely I'm see walking. it, but the base building workbench should work. Let's see if it does. You're going through. It's not targeting you. It's not realizing you're there. Okay, you're not gonna kill. I don't know why that is. It might be the workbench. I'm gonna fold the workbench and try it again. It could be the range as well. Remove this. See if it works right, okay. now. I'm gonna go out of the way here, and then I'm back in my starting position. <laughs> Hold on, wait a second, it's not targeting, it might be the range, bro. It's not looking at me. What's going on? It's probably the range. Try, try closer, try the other one, the keep walking into the base. I'm sure it will do it once you get closer, though. Try this. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Oh, no! Oh, it's got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stop. closed the door. Get out of there! <laughs> oh, no! You oh, idiot. Yes. <laughs> it does work, it does work. But the range is not that yeah. far, so we need to hide him it's better. It's not then. that far, so it depends on... Well, no, but, but then again... Yeah, no, we can just put another wall there, bro. We can just lock that off, and then they won't even see the turrets, and then we can still put the workbench down, because it, it should work yeah. with the workbench. We need to come <laughs> back and it from the ghost, bro. Yeah, so... That's interesting, that. So, yeah, you have to add me on. Yeah, so we need to... You know, no, no, we need to test it again, because we need to test it if it works with the workbench now. If it still works. Ah, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I'll just... Right, just run back from the ghost, bro, and we should be good. Alright, so the turret's been on for about 10 minutes, and the power is now on 97% on the TGP, and a 98 oh, on so the power bank. So it's yeah, so it'll last a fair while, it'll last a fair while, it'll definitely last if you're on. So if we come on and we've got an hour or two on, uh, yeah. No, it should work, even if we leave it on overnight, it should still be active, but I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna set up the second turret, so you have two turrets shooting at the same time, uh, and they'll kill you through the wall. Okay, so you're here now, so let me see if they work now. So you're, you're going through the airlock system, the first thing, they won't notice you. I just need to put on the battery in there, there we go, got the battery in there. Alright, well you might have to run back from the coast, I need to unload this mag so there's ammo in the second turret. Do you want me to try and see if I can run all the way in and try and see if I get to the other door without getting killed? Uh, yeah, you should, but I need to unload this mag first so we have ammo in the second turret and then we should be good from there on. Nate? Did you throw something? Oh. Bro, what? I died? Yep. Yeah. Hold Bro, on. I died through the walls. 
Bro, I'm in a locked off room. There's no way I can, someone can get a nade in. There must be a cheater or an admin messing. What the fuck? Like I'm listening for people. I haven't got my gun. Well, yeah, that was a cheater. And this guy somehow got a nade inside my face. And if you slow down the clip from earlier, you are able to see the nade for a split second in the top right of my screen. Just come by. It doesn't make sense. There's no way he can get that nade in. It's full cheats. He got banned and we're good for now. I called the admin over because one of the turrets was damaged though, so he came to compensate us. Alright, what's next? Removing Reacher from the turret list. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I remove Reacher from the turret list. No, do not do that. Mate, do that, you're dead. The guy is. Jesus, Jesus! Is that the admin or is that the cheater? It's the admin. What the fuck? What's going on? And the admin's getting shot. I thought about it. Like, what the fuck's going on? But it's the admin. Yeah, I know. The guy. Your guns are brutal to me, man. Jesus. Did it hit you? <laughs> Did the turrets actually damage you, bro? No. No, because I was in God mode, thank God. Yeah, Jesus, bro. Yeah. That's I know, we were just. So. We were, the ammo for I that. was thinking fucking Reacher. Like, the turret was shooting at Reacher because I, you know, Reacher. I was messing with Reacher saying I was going to remove him as the, as the safe guy, you know? And fucking, <laughs> so, so the, the third starts shooting and I didn't do anything. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? But it was you, <laughs> just spawning in on us. Yeah, well, it's no, weird as hell though. I came to comp you if you lost anything, but Jesus. No, yeah, I didn't actually yeah, lose damage. anything from it. Just, just the only thing that's broken is the turret's now half HP from the nade. But then the other turret was also put down, that's still on full HP. And then I was dead, but I was standing right here. And how the fuck can the nade be here? So, yeah. Honestly, I don't know. We had that issue last time, and literally nothing pops up on our logs. The only thing that popped up is you died by a grenade. Now, just editing this later, they do have logs, but this admin did not have access to those logs for the nades. But the cheater got banned, so don't worry. This is just a moment that he was not banned yet. He's trolling you, I don't know. That's kind of fucked up, you know, but thank you for coming. Oh, I didn't know that. Dude, I swear to God, don't you... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's still getting him down. <laughs> Try it now. Try it now. <laughs> oh, the fucking turrets, man. Well, at least they work, I suppose. The admin made sure the turret was repaired and that it was how it was before the cheater decided to throw a nade in my face. Anyway, we decided to leave the turrets on overnight. Not only for the fact that the turrets could defend our base while we were gone, but also for the reason that we wanted to check how long the power bank lasts. We figured out that the restart does not mess with the turret's activity, but you need to exchange the power bank once that goes empty. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end this video, I'm going to show you the base that has been finished. We now have the maximum amount of doors that we're allowed to have, and we have everything set up how I want it. We have everything finished. I mean, we pretty much have all the doors tier 3. We have a couple of tier 2s at the front. Because unfortunately we weren't able to get more, but these doors are all filled up. And as you can see, this this hallway goes down to even the front door. Uh, and the front door has like tier 2 or 3 tier 2 uh, gates, and the rest in this base is all tier 3. As you can see, all these doors are tier 3, and people have to raid through these doors to get to the final loot room. Now here you come to the turrets. I've obviously shown you guys these a couple of times already. But um, yeah, they're now, they're now fully functional. Now if you come up here, you have uh, a little bit of a change. They managed to, to change the rock a little bit here. So the rock is, it creates some more space. Need to figure out what we're going to do with that space. But uh, yeah, the rock has been changed a little bit. And here you can go uh, for as far as you can. If you do it correctly, you should be able to prone. There we go. And if you prone, you can then crawl through the little gap we have here. And it brings you into this part of the base. Now... Once you go up here, on the thing, on the stair here, you have a window. Now, why is there a window above me here? Well, there's a window because windows can be opened from the outside with a code lock. So, windows you cannot raid. And because you cannot raid them, we can use them to access the base. So, this is a roof. And people cannot access this box. So, you have to open this window to get in. As you can see, we can open the window from two sides. And therefore... Uh, you can actually use this window as a way to get into the base when being raided. So, for example, this window is also code locked. You can go outside with this window. And the idea is basically that once we're getting raided, and we're a freshie, 
Raiders will be outside the base here. All we gotta do is sneak around the top side here. We gotta find a, round, a way around from this, this way. Sneak on the top, go around the base, sneak here, open up the window from the side. Make sure we're prone, prone to the window. Make sure we're crouched again. Close the window, walk here, open this window, so it's a double protection. Then you can go here, and boom, you're back in the base in the final loot room and you can help defend the base. If you uh, do this correctly, you should be able to crawl yourself through. Sometimes it's a little buggy, I'm in the buggy state right now, but then you wiggle yourself through and you're inside the base. Final loot room and then you can defend again from the top. Uh, that's basically the, uh, the end base right now. So this is what the base looks like after the entire adventure. Or, well, the entire adventure, for, you know, until now, I guess. Uh, I might add this half wall here, which will make it so that people cannot dismantle this floor. Uh, it's gonna look a bit weird, but I need to get it done uh, to make sure that we can actually uh, not bug around like that. And people can't just skip our uh, skip our doors. So, it's coming together nicely here. We're running out of nails, though, because I've used all the nails on the space. So, this is all we have left, 29 nails. Yeah, I'm gonna close off the episode here. We're gonna see tomorrow how long the power banks have lasted in the turrets, which will be next video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. I'm gonna attempt to build that, and I will catch you guys next week. Where hopefully we can utilize the drones to possibly raid a large clan.